Hey folks, it's Dan, the floating disembodied voice of Metamaniacs. We're here with a special video for you guys. We actually have the Grand Archive trading card game print and play decks that we've been playing with a little bit here. And we wanted to record a video for you all um, and just kind of show you the general gameplay of how a game of Grand Archive goes, because I know a lot of people are looking to see this. So we've been playing all night and we're about to just do a little recorded game for you. Um, here I am playing uh, I have the blue deck here and the Zeno playmat. If you're familiar with Dragon Ball Super, DBS fans, um, I'm playing Rai with the Spirit of Fire as my level zero. And my opponent here is Adam. Hey, say hi, Adam. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Adam's playing Lorraine with the Wind, Wind. Champion. Yep, exactly. Um, these are the print and play decks that are going to be available on the Discord publicly very soon. So make sure there's going to be a link down below to the Discord where you can join up there and be notified when the print and play decks are live so you can go check them out. Um, or if you're checking this out, at, you know, like at least a week or so after we posted it, it's probably live right now. So just go hop in and download the decks and start playing yourself if you like them. These are probably going to be pretty similar to what the starter decks are like um, that will be shipping in the first wave after the Kickstarter finishes. So um, with that said, uh, I don't want to belabor the point too much. just want to start playing. So we're going to go ahead and cut our decks here uh, and then we'll roll to see who is going first. Um, I will say also, if you have no idea what the rules are here, maybe you want to go check out the quick start guide. We'll have that linked in the description as well. Um, and that'll show you the uh, kind of the basics of how to play the game. I will be talking through a couple of things, but we're not going super in depth into the basic rules. So um, go ahead and check that out if you want to. And it looks like I won the roll, so I'll be going first here. Oh, what? I can't believe I rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't beat my, what was that, a six? Five. A five? Couldn't beat my five. <laughs> Um, okay, so I go first. Uh, start of my first turn, we're going to skip straight to the manifest phase, and I'm going to manifest uh, from my material deck my level zero, and I, you have to manifest your level zero at the start of the game. Level zero champion is the spirit of fire here, has the enter effect of drawing six cards, which is effectively my opening hand. So I'm going to draw that. We're then going, um, as I'm taking the first turn of the game, immediately to my main phase when I can play cards from my hand, and I'm going to start by playing uh, an Impassioned Tutor. This is an ally that costs two, which means I'm going to take two cards from my hand and put them into my memory, leaving me with three cards left in hand. Um, and with that, um, I now allies can attack the turn they come into play, but my opponent doesn't yet have a champion. I can't attack anything then. Uh, my champion has 10 health. That'll come up very shortly here. So I am done with my turn. Okay. Adam, you take your turn. Yeah. And since I'm going second, I will go to materialization. Yes. And I think I said manifest. Sorry. Materialize. Ma yeah, materialization. And I will draw my six. Yep. But since I'm going second, I will draw for turn. So Search. I'll go to seven. Okay, and then we're going to your main phase now. Yep. And I will... Uh, play a Dream Fairy, and it has stealth, so it can't be targeted by attacks. And on the enter effect, uh, target opponent uh, banishes one card from their uh, at random from their memory. Okay, so we're going to roll for this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do this. We got four, five, six. So I will banish that from my memory, yep. Arcane Disposition. And then uh, Dream Fairy still has more text. It's when Dream Fairy dies, each opponent puts the top uh, card of their deck into their memory. So you're temporarily pulling a memory away from me. Mm -hmm. And then I will also play a Weapon Smash. Oh, okay. And it's uh, for a class bonus at the beginning of uh, the recollection phase, put a durability on a target weapon I control. No weapons yet, though. No weapons yet. Okay. Are you attacking with anything? Um, I do have an interceptor. She's got zero attack, but yep. three. I will weapons. attack for one at Spirit of Fire. Okay, I will have Impassioned Tutor intercept that. Okay. Um, so in the combat here now, I could choose to retaliate by tapping her, but she has zero attack, so there's no point. Uh, so I'll simply have her intercept that. 
Oh, I forget that she can uh, do it more than once. Yep. All yeah. right. So you could attack with your Dream Fairy here also. I would also <laughs> intercept again. And but that I would, can't kill it. Yep, that would bring me to two damage on my Passion Tutor, and at the end of turn, allies clear damage. Yep. So it's so ultimately pass turn. she's doing her job defending me right now. Um, I do want to point out one thing. I haven't mentioned it yet. Uh, the art on a lot of these cards are is not final. Um, some of these, I think, are pretty close or at their final artwork, but a lot of this stuff is just placeholder artwork for these print-and-plays just to get them out the door so people can try. So if you're looking at stuff like uh, like this Weaponsmith here, um, that is not the final artwork on the card. So that is absolutely some MS Paint placeholder artwork. So please do not judge the game based on that artwork. Um, okay, so that's the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. Start of my turn here. The first thing we're going to do is awaken. Everything's awake. Then we are going to uh, materialize. And you almost took me off of being able to do this, but I still can. I'm going to materialize now to my level one. So we're going to get Rai the Spellcaster out. So materialize this. It has a memory cost of one, which means I take one random card from my memory. There's only one here. And banish it. And Rai level one has an enter effect that says he gets two enlightened counters. And enlightened counters can be removed at any time. Uh, you can remove three enlightened counters to draw one card. That's just an inherent effect of enlightened counters. And it's kind of the, the mage's thing. Um, move to my recollection phase. I would take all the cards of my memory into my hand, but I have none because you denied me that. <laughs> and then I will draw. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a dream fairy and a weaponsmith. Yep. Don't really like either of those, but I also don't have a lot of options right now. So what I'm going to do is take two memory to manifest a library witch, who is another interceptor. I'm very defensive in this deck, just trying to hold out until I can combo off, basically. When she dies, I get to draw a card. Um, so, And she's only got one toughness. So she's here to block something and die and then put a new card in my hand. Um, and that is all I'm going to do. I'm going to okay. pass the turn. I move to a, my turn in a awaken phase, and then the materialization phase. I will materialize level rain, wandering warrior, the level one, and it has a. I'll pay for the costs. Uh, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. One, and discard Crusader of Banish. Or banish uh, Crusader of Asa. Yep. And. Lorraine also has an enter effect, and I materialize a zero-cost weapon, which is the Commander's Blade, and that comes in with one durability counter, and a class bonus effect, enter effect, uh, up to one target ally I control gets plus one damage. Who do you target? I will target the Weaponsmith. Okay. And then, then go to recollect. Recollect. Get all Pick your up. memory back. Mm -hmm. And then I'll draw for turn. And now to your main phase. And main phase. What to do? What to do? I will attack... Rye with Lorraine using the Commander's Blade. Okay. So it's going to be two or one damage. One damage. Yep. It's just one attack on the blade, and you're not using an attack card. Oh. Um. Well, I I will go ahead and just intercept that with the Library Witch. Okay. So I want her to go away and draw a card. And upon resolution of the attack, the durability uh, counters removed. Durability gets yep. removed, and it gets banished. Correct. Anything else, Adam? Oh, yes. I will... Play an Honorable Vanguard. Okay. We have a 2-2 two -two with Intercept. Yep. Attack right. What are you trying here? Um, well, yeah, I mean... Sure, I will go ahead and uh, intercept that. Okay. 
Attack right. And I want to keep my creature here, so I'm just going to take that one damage. So we'll mark a damage on. Mm -hmm. We're using these dice to denote the damage. And attack right. And this is the one that got the plus one bonus when you played. Yep, so I'm attacking for two. Sword. So I will go up to three damage taken. I'll probably right. take that too. Oh, I have nice. 15 health, so I have plenty remaining still. I'm not too worried yet. Um, start of my turn, everything awakens, and I'm going to materialize again. Boy, I could go right to level two. I have to check. What did I put in my memory? I think that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and materialize level two Rye this turn. I like to get him going right away. So that's going to banish both of these, Fireball and Focus Flames. But now I have a new effect, an inherited effect, so even when he levels to three, I'll keep this effect. That is, whenever I activate my first mage action each turn, I get to put an Enlightened Counter on Rai. Then go to draw. So I'm quite low on cards right now, which isn't ideal. And I didn't, unfortunately, get what I was looking for either. Um, that's all that's in here. I really need to get rid of that fairy. That's the problem, is you <laughs> denied me that one card, and I could really use that right now. Yes. Um, what I will have to do is just uh, play another library, which okay. second one, and then nothing I can attack, so I'll pass the turn. Okay. I will awaken and go to the materialization. I have no cards in hand right now, but that's okay. And I will go to materialize Seer Sword, and I'll pay the cost. Two, four, six, three, and I'll banish Inspiring Call. And Seer Sword comes in with three counters, durability counters, and whenever it's used to, in an attack, I glimpse one, and glimpse, uh, I look at the top card of my deck, and I can leave it on top or put it on the bottom of the deck. It's like Scry and Magic. Yeah. And recollect, and draw. sword and I'll glimpse one. Okay, so resolve your glimpse first. Yep. Put that to the bottom. And that's for one. Yes, one. One damage. Um I will have impassion tutor intercept that. Okay. So and remove there. a derivative counter. She's got one damage on her. One damage. Will only last until end of turn. Mm -hmm. I will Attack and Passion uh, Tutor. Maybe intercepting that was a bad call. I, yep. Sure. That will defeat her. Mm -hmm. I will attack her eye. Okay. I will have the library which intercept that mm -hmm. so I can draw my card. And I'll be taking that one. So, four damage taken. Yeah. And I'll put three into my memory. And I'll play a Crusader of Asa. And it enters the battlefield rested. Okay. You have right. a lot of cards right now. Yes. A lot of allies in play. And I really need something to <laughs> yes, deal I with do. this. Hmm. I got rid of that Focus Flames. Okay. Um... So, end of your turn? I'm ending my turn. I got no cards in hand. My turn, I awaken uh, everything. And I nothing to awaken. Oh. I think, actually, the correct call for me right now is I'm going to choose not to materialize anything. Hmm. Then I'm going to recollect and draw for turn. 
The reason I didn't materialize anything is because I am in my main phase going to play Focused Flames. Uh, this is class bonus, meaning if it matches my class, which is mage to mage, it'll get this effect. Focus, which is if I chose, if I have not materialized anything this turn, then it gets this bonus. So since I'm a mage and I didn't materialize anything, this card costs three less to activate, which makes it free, uh, and deal four damage to target ally. So I am going to deal that to the Dream Fairy because I'm too down on cards right now. Um, as well as bef before that resolves, actually, I also get my Enlightened Counter, mm -hmm. my first mage action this turn. The Fairy's Die effect occurs, and I'm going to put the top card of my deck in my memory, and I can go ahead and take a peek at that right now, just so I know what's going on there. Um, it's kind of a gamble, but I think we'll... Uh, at that point, then, I'm actually going to pass the turn. Okay. I will awaken and go to materialization. The mage is uh, sometimes a very slow and steady class. Mm hmm we're just gonna we're gonna try and weather the storm until we can combo off, basically. I will level up to the plane battle ma blade master. Yep. And it has an enter effect on tell end of turn Lorraine attacks gain plus two damage, and when this attack destroys an alley, draw a card. Good thing I have no allies. And I'll pay the cost. So two four six. Let's see what you die. One? Or is that the six? I think that's the six. That's the six, okay. And favorable wins, and then odds evens, odds, and spirit blood, a ghost and those strike. Are, and those are banished again. Yes, banished. Okay. All right. So uh, move just, to. Let's just separate yeah. your graveyard. Uh, move to recollection. Yep. Uh, I will add a durability counter to my uh, seer sword. Yep. Off of weapons. Man. That is a pretty good combo. Right. Move to draw. You only have you only have two cards left in hand though. You're a little bit stuck on. Oh, I know. What you can do now. Oh, I can move to attacks. Yes. <laughs> I'll attack right. You you have no end of attacks as long as you have weaponsmith and seer sword. Yep. Out. And I will use seer sword to yep. attack for three since she has two. Yep. And. I will leave that there. Okay. And I'll take the three. Six. Up to seven damage taken. Yep. And I'll go attack Rai with Honorable Vanguard. I am going to respond to that. Yep. Um, so I'm going to respond to your attack declaration oh. here. Lost. That, yeah, that should be there. Okay. So I respond to your attack declaration by removing three light encounters to draw a card. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to continue responding here. And I'm going to play Creative Shock. It's going to cost me three, um, three reserve put in here, and then I gain one Enlightened Counter because this is the first Mage action I played this turn. Resolve the effect unless you have a response to it. I got no response. Okay, I'm going to draw two cards and then discard a card. Oh, I missed it. Uh, the class bonus here is if I discard a Fire card from this, then I get to deal two damage to something. But I unfortunately did not draw one off of that and I didn't have enough cards to keep one so that's going to be the resolution of that continue the attack right. so yep. th this one finishes yep. resolving I take two more two more I'll attack right for one yep four and you got ten, t ten total yeah and I'll attack uh, right for one again okay I've taken eleven now I only have nine health left oh boy alright what are we doing here how are we getting out of this Look at my memory. Do I, what do I have in here to, to get me out of this? You all done with your turn? Yeah, I'm done with my turn. Okay, awaken nothing, and then I don't see. Boy, I'm gonna be so down on cards still. I don't know if I can level though, because then I'll only have two, three cards in hand. I guess I could still play this in the worst case. I think I'm gonna try it. I think I'm gonna try. There's there's certainly some amount of skill to knowing when to do this, and I don't know if we've quite learned that yet. Um, but I am going to just, and the reason I'm doing this is because once I get to my level three here, I'm gonna unlock the arcane element, which will allow me to play some of the most powerful cards in my deck, presuming I draw them. Um, so it's gonna cost me three memory to level to three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's gonna banish arcane disposition. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
that's gonna banish Arcane Disposition. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to banish Magus Disciple. I actually kept the one card I wanted to. So that got pretty lucky for me. We'll go to Recollect, this will go to my hand. And I'm now level three. I still retain that inherited effect from my last one. So on my first mage action, I'm gonna get an enlightened counter. Draw step. Oh, and speaking of mage actions. Oh, maybe I wanna save that then. Um, yeah, I think, I think what I really need to do right now is cast Scry the Skies. I'm gonna have any chance of making it out of this. I at least got a health boost here, so I think I can last another turn of your attacks if I can just mm -hmm. dig for the answer. Uh, Scry the Sky is going to let me glimpse one plus level. My level's three, so it's going to let me glimpse four. Okay. And what I'm going to keep here is... I'm going to keep one of these on top put the other three on the bottom and then I draw a card so draw that one card there and I get my enlightened counter from my first mage action this turn as well and then I am just gonna have to pass at that point okay. so you I have awaken? opportunity to kill me here if you have at the right attacks but you only have two cards in hand I awaken and I have uh, then go straight to recollection uh, no materialization first yes and I will materialize Life Essence Amulet. Mm -hmm. And whenever an ally I would con I control dies on not my turn, I can banish it to draw a card. Yep. Right. And then move to Recollection. I will have Weapon Smith put a Durability Counter on Seer Sword. Mm -hmm. And I will draw a card. I will... Declare attack with Lorraine using the Seer Sword at Rai. Okay. For one. Resolve your glimpse and first. Glimpse. I will bottom that. Okay. And I'll take the one damage. 12 taken. We do have 25 max health now. A little bit more. I will attack Rai for two. Take two. Attack Rai for one. Take one. Attack right for one. Take one. Yeah, you've got, you've got them all right now. And I will... 16 taken. Pass. Oh, I gotta go with that one. Yep. And I will pass my turn. But nothing played. Okay. My turn here. I will start by materializing... Um, I don't want to materialize anything that costs me something right now. I think what I need to do is I'm going to get a Life Essence Amulet also. Then recollect these. These one card. And draw. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pay two for a Magus Disciple. Mm -hmm. Champion gets plus one level, and when it dies, I draw a card. I'm playing a dangerous game right now. Um, your turn. Okay. I'll move, and I'll awaken, and then I'll materialize my other zero cost Avengers Ring. Yep. And at the end of each turn, if two or more allies have died this turn of my allies, I may banish it to draw a card. Yep. And I will uh, then drop in recollection. Recollection first. Recollect. Put a counter on. Yep. And then draw. You're still pretty limited on your cards. That's my yes, one saving grace right now. Yes, I am. But I think I can do this. I will put three cards in okay. memory to cast 
distorting winds and it, since it has efficiency I my level is two so it costs two less and I'll really turn Mag Magus Disciple to your hand and I'll draw a card okay um, yep that is fine that'll resolve I will declare attacks using Lorraine with the Seer Sword. Yep, resolve your glimpse. And glimpse. And I'll bottom that. And I'll take one. And durability drops. I'll attack. Try for two. Take two. 18, 19 taken so far. Yep. I'll attack. Rye for one. 20. And Rai for one. 21. All these turns of just getting all these attacks <laughs> off on me. This is very different than the previous games. Oh yes, I will pass my turn. Okay, we're what are we, 21. We have four health left. Four health. And I'm at 22. And you're at full. That's <laughs> that's okay. That's that doesn't matter to me. I don't. I'll kill you eventually if I can make the game go long enough. Oh yes. Um, okay. Start of my turn. Awaken and then materialize. And I'm going to materialize a bubble of empowerment. Then take these two into hand. Then draw for turn. Okay. I'm going to start by playing Arcane Sight. That's going to give my champion plus one level. Uh, sorry, at first I get my in, uh, Enlightened Counter for my Inherited Effect. My champion gets counts as having plus one level until end of turn, and then I draw a card. And that's very important for all these little mage effects here. So I'm currently I currently count as level four. Hmm. I don't like to do this early, but I think I just have to. I'm going to use my Bobble of Empowerment Go ahead and banish that. Mm -hmm. And that will give me plus two levels. So I count as having level six now. this way. I'm going to cast then Purge and Flames. So this is going to require one memory. So it has efficiency and I count as having level six. It's going to deal three damage to all units besides my champion. Okay. So first we resolve the damage here. Yep. Okay. So three, 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 three. Go ahead and put the three on the rain. Both of these units are going to die and this has three damage floating on it until yep. end of turn. You have a trigger when a unit dies? Yep, I will banish the bobble and draw, card. and draw a card. Yep. And then you will have an end of turn trigger on this as well, but yes. that's not it's not time for that yet. Not quite yet. Um, I am going to... I just really need the cards right now. I'm going to spend the three enlightened counters to draw a card. Mm -hmm. And then... I'm going to spend three memory to play Honorable Vanguard. This is a 2 2 with intercept. And I was debating attacking your knight to finish him off, but then I have no protection and I'm way too low on my health right mm -hmm. now. So I think I just have to let the knight live in case Lorraine is going to try something. I guess I take. I take two regardless. I don't know. I think I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm past the turn. Uh, end of turn. I will banish Avengers Ring yep. since two of my uh, uh, allies died to draw a card. Yep. Okay. I will awaken. And I will materialize. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Yeah. I will materialize the rain crux knight and banish everything in there. Everything. So it's a spear blade ghost strike, a spear blade ascension, and a sudden steel. Okay. Yeah, that's why I had to leave the Honorable Vanguard back. Um, and Lorraine has, her ability is, uh, she gains attack for each regalia weapon you have in Banishment, which is currently 
Just the just one, one, I think. Yep. Yep. Just the one. And so that's all the her attacks. All her attacks are getting plus one. And you've also unlocked Crux now, so you yes, may use I did. Crux cards. So I will use Spirit Blade Dispersion, removing the two counters off of this to deal two damage to Honor Blade. Honorable Vanguard. Oh no, really? Yeah, and this gets banished. Oh, you. <laughs> you rascal. Um, All right. And it just so happened that I got. I will attack Rai using Wind Cutter. Wind Cutter? And so. So this has class bonus that gives it plus one damage. Yep. One, two, three from the effect. Uh, four because the other the oh because the other sword's in there now yeah. too yeah so, yeah and yeah. Yep. I have a fifty percent chance to reveal when or uh, well that does it doesn't matter though yeah you're Cause dead because you, you, you just killed me <laughs> yay so. first game <laughs> yeah you, there you you kind of finally got me with Lorraine so um yeah the previous the previous games to this have all been uh, kind of just holding off you have stumbled a little bit the mid game made some strategic choices that we were kind of exploring what happens when certain things are done in certain ways that yep. um, maybe not the greatest decisions, but this time I just, I couldn't, you had too many allies. I just couldn't hold them back and mm -hmm. I couldn't quite get any of my board wipes off. One of them, I'll show you here. One of them oh. was my uh, anger, of the skies, which is a, an arcane card. So I needed to get to that, to be able to use that. But um, I maybe was a little greedy Two, I maybe sh could have been a little bit more defensive playing some of these things, but you really just had a, a lot of good attacks at the right time. Yeah. So I do think the Dream Fairy, the, the Dream turn Fairy one. hurt me a lot. Yes, that slowed me down from getting anywhere yes. right away. Uh, so that is definitely a really good tempo card. Turn Turn One Dream Fairy was awesome. So um, there you guys go. That was a game of Grand Archive. That one, uh, unfortunately, I didn't do any damage to Lorraine <laughs> at the end, but. Um, you got to understand the way Rai works sometimes is that's exactly what you do and then you develop a giant hand and then you combo off and do 30 damage to her in one turn or something. That's that's how some of our game wins have gone so far. So mm -hmm. um, it can be, uh, it can look like it's really one-sided, but I was pretty close to turning the corner there, actually. I was just kind of getting everything together. Um, so that's just how it goes sometimes. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, definitely, if you're interested in seeing more, uh, let us know in the comments down below. Like it if you like seeing this video. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more Grand Archive or other great TCG content. Um, and we're going to put a little shout out here at the end like we always do to all our patrons. I just want to remind people we are on Patreon as well and supporting us supports um, upgrading all of our uh, production to be much better, which uh, if you stay tuned, we'll see some much better production coming. Again, thanks so much to our patrons for, support patrons for supporting us. And um, hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.